So based on the results of the Quantum First study, I do believe that quizartinib should now become the treatment of choice for patients who are fit and eligible for intensive chemotherapy um, in combination with induction consolidation as a maintenance afterwards if they have a FLT3 ITD mutation. And so we know that mitostorin is approved um, in that same population based on the ratified trial, but included patients with a TKD mutation and ITD mutation who were younger. If you look at the results of the Quantum First study, patients um, in, in this study had a 22% reduction in the risk of mortality with quizartinib versus placebo, very similar to ratify. However, we had 40% of our patients being over the age of 60 unlike uh, the ratified trial and only focused on the ITD mutated patients. If you look at the younger patients in quantum first, similar to the ratified trial, the, um, there was a 32% reduction in the risk of death uh, by the addition of quizartinib. Um, and it's important to get these patients to allogeneic transplant. We recently showed that patients who go to allo transplant um, who still have measurable residual disease using a FLT3 ITD uh, NGS um, assay um, have uh, the greatest benefit apparently from the transplant compared to those who are MRD negative. And in fact, we saw that the remission, uh, complete remission rates with deeper responses uh, were higher in patients who received quizartinib than uh, placebo. And I believe the toxicity profile permits us to combine quizartinib with this intensive chemotherapy, keeping in mind it will add to the myelosuppression. So we have to be careful in older and maybe more infirm patients who are borderline for uh, intensive chemotherapy. And there is a REMS program for the QT prolongation. 2.7% uh, of patients, um, I'm sorry, 2.3% of patients in the quantum first study had a QTC over 500 milliseconds versus um, 0.7 with um, placebo. So something that you need to watch out for, watch for drug-drug interactions, make sure the electrolytes are, are well controlled in, in the normal range when giving quizartinib. But given all this together, with the survival benefit we've seen in patients who went to transplant or did not go to transplant after receiving quizartinib, I do believe it should be first-line therapy in combination with chemotherapy for those FLT3 ITD mutated patients.